Whether you're looking to add curb appeal or just spicing up a single room, adding a little bit of paint is the quickest and easiest way to increase the value of your home. Or maybe you're just looking for a change. The color of our ceilings and our walls can make us feel or even act in a certain way. It's more than likes and tastes, it's a science. Before we get started, let's go over a little terminology. Understanding what things mean will make it a lot easier down the road. For example, hue. Hue is the color that you're going to be choosing. For example, blue. Blue is the hue. And hues have values. That's how light or how dark that color is going to be. The intensity is how brilliant the color is. So if a color has a dominant hue, then it's going to be called a pure color. It's going to be more brilliant than those colors that are mixed. When choosing a color, don't be afraid to take some risks. You might surprise yourself as to which colors you actually like best. But start small. Paint on a two by two square that allows you to see the color on the wall itself. Then let it dry, let it sit overnight. The daylight, the night light, and even artificial light can drastically change the color that you think you have. What seems to be the right color of red at night could be the wrong color of orange in the daytime. Speaking of starting small, if you're unsure about which color to choose, try starting in a hallway or a small room like this one. That way, if you don't like it, you can change it. And you haven't wasted too much time and resources. As I mentioned before, the colors of our walls and ceilings have a direct effect on our mood and even our actions. So you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you know what kind of mood you want each room to have before you start painting. A nice shade of light blue or green can make a bedroom or a bathroom feel very relaxing. If you're like me and love having people over, Paint your room warmer colors to add a more social atmosphere. Little secret, if you add a touch of red, it will increase their appetites. You may actually make them believe that you are a much better chef than you really are. If you want to make your room feel bigger, more open, try using lighter colors like whites or pastels or off-whites. And then if you want to give it a real punch, try a nice dark neutral color on an accent wall. It could really tie the room together. Be careful where you place your brightest colors. Too bright of hues in say, a children's bedroom can lead to irritability and restlessness. But in a room where you want to feel more motivated and active, say, a workout room, the more vibrant hues are your best choice. If you want to bring a little attitude into your room, you might want to think about putting a little color on your ceiling. Most ceilings are painted white to make you feel like you're in a nice open space. But adding a titch of color can liven up even the most plain room. Be careful though, too much of a dark color or too vibrant of a hue can make one feel agitated or even claustrophobic. At the end of the day, the colors you choose should represent you and your lifestyle. If you have any questions, the professionals at Five Star Painting are here to help. We hope we've made your home a little more colorful. We'll see you next time.